This week's subject is going to be a little bit difficult. And last week we looked at Psalm 1. We're actually going to do Psalm 149 today. And the reason I say it's going to be difficult is because it is about one of the areas within a church that messes everybody up. It's one of those areas that for whatever reason, when people look at it, it can really be very divisive. It's usually not meant to be, and yet many times it is. And that is worship. That is worship as far as in music. I personally, within our church, we feel that the entire time that we have on Sunday is worship. From the very time that someone opens to the time when we say amen at the end of our prayer, that is a time of worship. But what we're talking about today is the music part of that worship. And many times it drives people away. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at Psalm 149 this week because it talks about the music and it talks about what it is that we do before God. And then ask yourself, does music get in your way? Or do you see music getting in other people's way? Do you see what we listen to being a problem? Is it too loud? Or the verse is not what they should be saying? Are we spending time in areas that maybe we shouldn't be spending time in? Now listen, I'm not here to chastise you. I'm not here to say that you have to change your music pattern. I'm not saying any of those things. I'm saying this is the time that's between you and God and how it is that you look at the worship music standpoint of your everyday life and especially on Sundays as well because this is addressed in the Bible. We'll talk about that more tomorrow, but tonight, ask yourself those questions and we'll see you tomorrow.